Hey, Scaldron. Did you know because of your crappy agent, you lost the role as Toothless in the How to Drain Your Dragon franchises? I just wanted to take a wee bit of your time and look at Scaldron. Did you hear me right? That's right, Scaldron! Finally, Scaldron is out and about, but you have to be quick as he's hard to find. Going backwards, here is Scaldron as he appears in his packaging on store shelves, if you are lucky enough to find one. Open box design again. This is a great chance for someone to take a soda, put Scaldron's head in, suck up some coke, and leave it in there for the next guy. So watch out with that. On the back of the box here, you can see here a nice little uh, photo illustration of Scaldron uh, with his water blast attack and his flapping wings. It's important to note that Scaldron may come in the wave with Skrill and Toothless and Belch and Barf. He's a really tough dragon to find so far. Not sure if he's going to be a larger release as some of the other dragons, so if you get a chance to find this guy, grab him when you can. Hey Scaldron! Did you know that Hiccup's mom will play a role in the new How to Train Your Dragon 2 movie? Out of the package boils the Scaldron and a very cool aqua looking dragon. Scaldron has two action features. He sucks up water up in his mouth and then squirts it out. And he also has flapping wings. That's probably one of the best flapping uh, spring actions I have seen. That really flaps well, I like that. He's got a nice light blue underbelly. Some really interesting wings here with a kind of a, a butterfly uh, look to them, uh, how they're cropped, very nice. He's got an interesting uh, horn that hooks down here. And I think they probably put this here longer just so that if his head is full of water, maybe it holds it up a little bit so it doesn't droop down on you. He's got this awesome back uh, flipper tail because Scaldron is a water dragon and that makes him totally water-like. And he's got some feet here, but they don't move as usual but they look good and they hold him up well. He's not tippable at all. His neck also has some articulation here and you can uh, bend a little bit and do some things. Not a whole bunch, but there's some movement in there and that's nice to have too. Hey Scaldron, did you know that the rarity of your toy makes you worth up to $50 on eBay sometimes? Looking a little closer at Scaldron's head, you can tell his lower jaw is puffed up, ready to shoot water either way. Nice little hook horn coming up on the top of his head. Uh, really bright yellow eyes with little pupils. Tiny little hole for where the water shoots out of his mouth. Little bumps across the head. A soft plastic, obviously, for uh, shooting water. That flipper tail again, a softer plastic. Uh, really nice. I like how it has that flipping effect. You could probably launch a, a sheep on that as well. Filling the Scaldron's head full of water is no problem at all. Make sure you use cold water though. I don't suggest using boiling water. I tried that. It didn't work. Anyhow, just simply squeeze his head underneath the water when submerged and slowly let go and his head will suck in some of the water. I've noticed it's easier to spray when you're pointing him down. He doesn't want to shoot very well when I'm pointing him up. I get a better stream pointing him down. And that's his spray action. Hey Scaldron, did you know that in some How to Train Your Dragon circles, you are known as the Pansy Water Dragon? Scale-wise, he's pretty good sized dragon for this size of dragons. Uh, in real dragon world, he's supposed to be a huge, enormous dragon, and we've seen that in a couple episodes, uh, making boats look pretty tiny. Uh, but next to, like, say, Toothless, uh, he still has a little bit of size to him, and maybe next to Skrill if they are in the same wave. Uh, two really nice looking dragons here. So he has pretty good wingspan and head to tail reach as well. 
So that is the Scaldron Dragon. I highly recommend this dragon, of course. He will be tough to find as he is from a later wave of Dragons Defenders of Burke toys coming out right when the new How to Train Your Dragon 2 movie comes out, making him a tough find. But he is out there, so keep looking. Hopefully we'll see Thunderdrum and Fireworm 2, as those are two awesome dragons. Maybe at least they'll repackage them in the How to Train Your Dragon 2 boxes, and we can get a chance to play with those as well. In the meantime, get some coffee for your Scaldron, and Scald some people. Bring on the squirrel drawn. Hey Scaldron! Did you know that by leaving water inside your head, you're susceptible to mold and bacteria forming inside, killing you?